Welcome to this uh, new video tutorial and today we are going to continue with uh, a new episode of our series on Spring Boot Pod Socket and Angular and this time in addition to the REST API we are going to add the possibility to send uh, private messaging to individual users Instead of sending a public message to everyone, now you will be able to restrict it to some user and put to some group of users. So what does that really mean? Like you will have uh, one interface like this one at the end of uh, the series and then you will be able to send a message to like I send the message to here the message come only in this user and same goes here like MB the user message come only on this user so you can also send a message to all right the message is coming to all or you can also send a message from the back end to Right now, uh, I'm going to send a message. I'm going to send a message now to only one user, and as you can see now, I'm sending a message only to one user instead of sending to everyone. Same thing I will do again for this one. So, these are some possibilities that you are going to do. And as this one that I'm sending here is from the backend using REST API. So, yeah, this is what we'll be able to have at the end of uh, this tutorial. Of course, this one is a continuation of my uh, previous tutorial. I hope that uh, you have already uh, seen that one here. It's a continuation of... Uh, this uh, tutorial here Hi, part to two this, uh, right so if you are just jumping to this one either you go back and follow uh, part one and part two or you can just also start from this one by just downloading uh, the the source code here and continue with that or if you just want to watch the concept to follow the concept then yeah, it's up to you. So then, uh, without a further ado, uh, what we are going to do now, we are going to do now is to start uh, to open uh, I will bring back uh, my initial uh, our initial projects, and then if we build it, maybe clean, install. Then ng saved. Okay, it's taking some time before building. Okay, our application is running now. 
and then if you go here that you can see like this is where we stopped uh, the last time and uh, yeah we stopped here the last time and then you were also uh, it was also possible to come here and post a message like this one then you can see we could also post a message from here so we are going to continue now uh, with our code now uh, <coughs> so in order to achieve this one you'll need to bring uh, some new uh, uh, modifications to our code and uh, yeah let's go take this one down and then go here <clears throat> and uh, so in order to be able to add to identify the user because right now we don't have a database and any other things but in order to um, identify unique user for a session that has been started we are going to make use of a hand check to determine the user using the principles so we will do here is to create the handler i'm creating the handlers here are the handlers and then here inside we create java class that we call user and check Uh, user hand shake handler so this is the user handshake handler that we have created here and then we are going to extend the default handler class default handler default and check handler right so inside that one we are going to overwrite one method here if you go here to overwrite we are going to overwrite this one here, the demand user. Okay. Here we are going to overwrite this class here, protected. Here the stop. What we are going to do now is to randomly generate the ID string random ID equal OD random id to string uh, to string 
and of course you are going to print it in the console you are going to call that here user id user id random id we log it bring it to the console and then we are going here to return a new user principle we are going to return a new user principle here random id and this one here uh, could not be found uh, okay we can import it not user principal is not this one so we are going to import it from comp that sun that security that oat that user principles this one here so that is it here with a user handshake and then in order to uh, because each time that uh, this id we want it to be generated each time that a user uh, create a new session like when we do like create a new uh, sessions access uh this interface here you are going to generate a user because you are starting a new client so in order that and uh, the best place to generate it here to call it here will be here and uh, we come on the uh, our client call right on the here we are going to set handler new user handler so here is that here new user handler and then we save this one so we should be able now to generate uh, that id if we close it and build our applications we close it and build our applications now then if i go and try to access this one we can see that the id is automatically generated here we are going to use this id to make our further uh, uh, development so okay we are on the right track we are on the right track now so what you are going to do now after that one is uh, completed then <clears throat> uh, 
I should be able to add uh, some private messaging. So, uh, let's go to We go here to the controller. Uh, where is the service? Click here. To the service here, we are posting. To all users. Now, we are going now to post to individual users. So like here, post. I will add here post private I will call this one post private so post private message to message bot here we post to message bot and here we post a private message to the message bot and here we are going because uh, before send to in order to achieve that one we will also need to No, no. We have that ID. Then we are going to need uh, the ID here. So I will, we are going to tap here, final. string id final string id we have our id here then uh, i will tap here private private message received private message received in backend and then a new message and here in instead of sending convert and send here we convert and send to user and on top here we are going to pass the id we also need to modify this one to become a private message messages so here we send to uh, all users but here we send to individual users so this one here is our service uh, which is uh, completed and then in our message controller we also need to do uh, the same thing here I duplicate this one I'm duplicating this one and then here we are going to send same as what uh, we have here in the service private messages
Uh, we are now here. So here topic private message and then here instead of all messages we are going to add here to private message and then here we get the private message <coughs> we are getting the private message there and then we also need to get uh, the ID. We also need to get the ID or the user information. In order to get the user information, we can get it directly here with principle. Here is that here. Principles here and then each time that uh, we pass a message, we are also going to add the username. We append that username here in the message. That in our private message here, I will add this percentage here. So you can see that now that we are modifying. So we are just uh, um, in the message that whenever you send a private message here, we are going to see uh, the user name, the principal names, yeah, followed by the message content that you uh, are sending. So and that one is there. Is okay. <laughs> this one is okay. And then now, so once this one is completed for this uh, back end first stage, now we need to go to our front end. Here is the front end. Up. We need to make some modifications. We need to make some modifications and then the best way to start will be in the service. So in the service here, hmm. In the service here, we have subscribe to user. We are going to replicate this one. So same as what we did here, we are going to copy uh, this private. We are going to copy that topic and then but here instead of um we are instead of just okay let's just start. I see here this is the topic here but because it is per ID we are sending here to users instead of What is it? So you can see that here you are sending to users. So these users here you are going to add it in the service is important here. We are going to add this one user here as a prefix. Then, yeah, so sending this one to private topic to the private topic to receive private 
messages right this is done and then same thing with um, sending the message from the front end for our button here we'll also need uh, this uh, send message send message here and then we are going to call this one send private message and then same as before we are going to prefix this one with private message Add message remain the same because the same message we only we have only one list so we don't need to replicate this one only send message here change and then on this one is finished here this one is finished here we are going to come back to here we come back here and then we replicate these two for sending our private message to send our private message the same thing here and then we are going to get take this new attributes here and then set it this way set it this way and uh, for our front end here I will take uh, my pre-built code here so <coughs> uh, so what we are getting here are the same thing uh, this is the same uh, thing that we have before with same message and then in the private part private sections you can see we have yeah, here is private message and here instead of send here we send the private message same thing with the model here the model that is attached here is the private uh, ng model here is the private message and here is uh, message it is for the public and then here is the button name here it remain as before and for this error here we need to add some uh, grid uh, modules here we need to append this module here uh, it is coming from this year check the documentations we also need to add our CSS for the styling style our buttons and the message tables and we have full width as well as the container to 20 pixels and uh, so if this one is okay let's see what we get let's see let's stop here and see uh, our output Right now here is how our front end look, really good. And then let's run it. It is running. Then here is for all. It's okay. Then the private mess if I have a uh, we have two of them here we 
we have two of them this one is also there let's restart it again here is all we can see that everyone is receiving the message and then if I tap me A -A -A. Oh, message is sent to everyone not yet and then what is the issues now okay and then if you go here okay the problem is here as you remember here is the public here and then in order to send to the private user to send a private message we need to send here to user uh, this is our error here and then we also specify this one as yeah this is private message for the back end this is the lock and then we go here to front end up and uh, as you can see here we write send message here and we have to call private message so that was the issues here send private message here and send to user here in the controller let's uh, go back again and bring bring our two uh, apis and see how they look like if I send to all no what is the issues it's not running oh we have to build and run it's running then we refresh everything send the message to all all A ok all B okay only for only for a you can see that the message only come here for a here here is uh, the user id and here is our message here same thing for b and then this one only come for b so it's working as expected then the last thing that we have to do now is to implement uh, the rest our rest uh, services and uh, in order to do that we come here and uh, as you remember previously we had um, We had this post here in order to send a message here what we need to do is to a call and then uh, let's call it uh, I will call this post private to message bot 
post private to message board i will call it that way and then we need the id we need to pass the id we need to pass the id in order to pass the id here we need to do stuff like this one the rest at part variable I'll put variable final string id here we get our id and then here in order to post here we are going to post post to private we already had private here so we send to private and private is taking the id so we had that one implemented here already so that's what we are using now and here is our post uh, anything else no it is okay now that is it for our rest and then let's come now and stop this rebuild run okay it is running so as you remember uh, we'll need to uh, a couple of things now so I will come now and in order to test our REST API we have to refresh this one and then once it's refreshed here we get the ID so here is the ID here we need to come now and uh, replicate this one here we rename it to uh, post private post private rename let's call it that and then here instead of post message here we are going to get post private then this one and we pass the id we pass the id here and then if everything work as expected it is successful here we should be able to receive oh message sent is null private message in backend everything is null why we refresh it again if we take this one
pass it is now here we had our controller name here that be issue can that be no post private message Here, post private message. Right. Why is the message received null? Something is definitely wrong. Send this on. Here, convert and send to users. Was it not saved? Yeah. Is that saved? I will just, yeah. Clean everything. Build again. Now run. Okay, so I will quickly test this one. We have the ID. I will take this ID. And then if I go here, is empty okay as we check everything we are still getting null and um, that mean uh, for the controller this is okay we just needed to change uh, for the controller we just needed to change this one for the rest controller is only this one here and it seems okay okay then let's go again here to here is content and if we move into our message ah here is that message content here 
here is the problem here we are getting null here because of the message content and and then uh, we go here so our JSON here should be formatted as message content instead that now if we refresh our page here is the ID here is that ID here and then if we just take this and paste it we can see that we are getting some messages here so you can see here it's two three it's three and if we paste it then it's three here then same thing will go for uh, this one if uh, we refresh this one we get the id we get the id here then if we come and paste it and set it to four Right. No. So. Oh, I didn't copy everything. Here is the ID here. And then, if we come here and paste it and send, we can see that you are getting four. Right, the message is only sent uh, sent to this one. So uh, uh, that is a bit our applications here. If I put it in another window and try to push it, you can better see that one here. So if you refresh again, everything for all. For all here, we have message in all windows, and for only B, B, B here, we have messages only appearing here, and then A, A here, we have message appearing here. So that's a bit where how we can do all these things. And then I hope that uh, this uh, video tutorial has been uh, useful to you.